Well, hey everyone, this is Jero from Daily Crypto Tracing. It's coming to you live, live, live from Vietnam, guys. And, you know, things are not so bad. We got some good, good news coming for a Dogecoin. I'm going to be talking about Dogecoin, Dogecoin, Dogecoin. And guys, don't get to smash a Dogecoin 111. We're going to briefly talk about what calls a dump. Uh, we're going to show you some specific information on what calls a dump. And I believe that this dump, this retest, this flash crash is actually good for crypto markets, actually good for you out there. And also, we're going to be showing you some good news. Don't forget, 420 is here, guys. We got some good announcements, big announcements coming from Elon Musk. And that's going to help push up the Doge. And remember, even though uh, most of crypto markets are down like crazy right now, we are seeing that Dogecoin is resilient and getting getting closer to going back above night. So I'm still I'm still positive. I'm still positive. So there is good news coming. Good, good news coming, guys. And if you got love the OG like I love you guys, don't forget to go down there, smash the likes, show some freaking love out there. And guys, remember, this ain't financial advice. And I need your little I lick the likes, boop the likes, and show some lovey love out there, guys. So it's a great time to be live. And, uh, you know, I know that, uh, you know, uh, yesterday we had this o OMG huge pump was confirmed. And, you know, we were looking, you know, in that video, we were looking at the setup, we we're looking at the technicals, and Dogecoin was looking very, very good. It was actually outperforming most other uh, crypto markets. And then we had this flash crash uh, yesterday afternoon, Vietnam time. And uh, that was because of we had a whole bunch of longs that got liquidated by market makers. We saw a whole bunch of 16,000 Bitcoin were dumped on uh, Binance Spot Exchange. So this is what caused the, the dump, guys, the whole retest. Uh, of what's going on but from that perspective it is a good thing that bitcoin went down uh it, it it wiped out a lot of the the leverage positions it wiped out a lot of the paper hands and it's kind of it's kind of a, a re reset reset bitcoin to be stronger and and more resilient so you know and then it sucks uh go back and watch that that's just more of an in-depth uh review of what happened and it's actually funny it, it you know if you guys want to laugh uh, and, you know, reduce your stress about, you know, the negativity that's happening with crypto right now. Go back and watch. It sucks. It was funny, guys. It was actually funny. I actually watched it and I laughed myself. Okay, so what happened yesterday? We did see that most of the markets were down. NASDAQ, uh, funnily enough, was up. Uh, looks like uh, looks like Tesla stocks tank, tankity, tank, tank, and they crashed 20% uh, from last year. So that's kind of interesting. Not good out there. But the other good news is it looks like Tesla kept all of its 184 million dollars of bitcoin and dogecoin as well remember elon musk did not sell any of his dogecoin did not sell any of his bitcoin so his crypto crypto holdings are still pretty much intact out there so that is good we should be getting a huge announcement uh today remember it is uh, april 20th here in vietnam uh for you guys in america it's still the 19th so probably not for another 12 to um, 15 hours uh, from now, we should get uh, Elon Musk tweeting something out. I believe that we're going to get a confirmation of the Starship launch, the, the new date. I think we're going to get something related to Twitter out there. Twitter and Dogecoin is going to be coming out. So it's going to be good, guys. We've got some good news on the horizon out there. Uh, so that is pretty good. If you take a look at the heat map right now, the heat map looks absolutely disgusting out there. It's it's not good. But we are seeing that the Bitcoin is crawling its way back. Absolutely clawing, 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 clawing. Uh, clawing its way back up to 30,000. So I'm not too not too worried out there. Uh, let's take a look at crypto markets. And guys, don't forget Dogecoin 101. Some good news is coming, guys. So we did see uh, that the crypto markets did get annihilated uh, down 5%. But this is not a dump. This is more like a correction. Anything anything deeper than 10% is a dump. This is just a little bit of a correction. And I think, it's, uh, I think it's healthy. I think personally it's very healthy. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think this correction is healthy? Go down there, comment, guys. Smash the likes. I show some love out there. So we're seeing Bitcoin dominance right now in time recording is 46.1. We are seeing that uh, Ethereum is at 19.2%. And we are seeing that right now that uh, Ethereum is down 7%. So, you know, the old coins are getting, uh, are being affected more so. Uh, we may have a lot of volatility and turbulence. You often see that the old coins will suffer more than Bitcoin. Bitcoin is more resilient out there. Uh, so Bitcoin is only down about 4.5%. Uh, Ethereum is down 7%. BNB is down uh, 5%. XRP is down six, Cardano is down four. But look at Doge, guys. Despite despite everything, Doge is back above nine cents. So that's good, guys. That is good. That's why I say there is good news coming. Doge is being very very resilient right now. So I'm I'm quite happy and quite fortunate that we are holding some Doge. So hopefully you guys did buy the dip yesterday and loaded up on some Doge coin. We're still seeing that. Uh, uh, Shiba Inu is still below 1100, so that's not too good out there. But Doge is definitely showing some good line, uh, signs of life. 
signs of life. So, you know, now we've, we've just been going ping pong, top to derby with the fear and greed. So most of, most people are now, uh, neutral right now, you know, we're agreed, we're agreed. So we are, we are so greedy at 68. Remember the whales do the opposite, right? So when we get, when we get a lot of euphoria at 68, when we hadn't seen that, uh, for, you know, over a year and a half, that's why the whales decide to flash crash and dump guys and wipe out all the leverage layers because you know, the sentiment, you know, Joe, Joe Public and Joe Nancy, they were looking at this and they were getting greedy and they were they were starting to leverage. So the market makers and well said, look, we're going to take liquidity and we're going to dump on you. And they did. They absolutely did uh, out there. And we can see here that the amount of wreckage right now is about $289 million. Uh, Most of that is, uh, it's all longs, guys. Most of it is longs out there. So the longs got decimated out there. But, you know, let's take a, let's take a, you know, a longer longer approach on that and let's take a look at the bitcoin returns out there out there bitcoin returns bitcoin returns right down and if we look at if we look at the quarterly returns it's not so bad guys it's not so bad we're at a 70 70 about what 72 70 around 73.8 73 point so let's just call it 74 so we're on up 74 percent year to date not too shabby not too shabby uh dxy is okay it's uh doing its thing uh, we did uh, a lot of pop-ups. So we did see the uh, the S the S and P kind of go up a little bit yesterday. So not too bad, guys. Don't forget if you got your crypto on a centralized exchange, get off there. Check out my now ledger link. But overall, we are seeing that Bitcoin did go all the way down. It did retest uh, this level here, the twenty eight eight six seven level, and we are we are bouncing up from that. I believe that we're probably going to have some sideways chop uh, for a couple of days. But I think we'll be back up above thirty thousand dollars pretty shortly, guys. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. We're according to this right at twenty nine thousand and forty four. So I'm not too worried about it. You shouldn't be worried about it out there, guys. And remember, one of the reasons we had this dump was because all uh, sixteen uh, k Bitcoin was uh, sold on the spot market. So that's what happened, guys. And uh, it was only on Binance. The other the other exchanges uh, had pretty typical sizes being sold. But it was Binance that had a whole dump out there, guys. So that was one of the things that tr kind of triggered the whole thing to happen. So if we take a look at uh, Ethereum, Ethereum right now is still following my uh, blue super trend. So I'm still super, super bullish on Ethereum. It's still respecting my super trend line. So that is pretty good. We'll be back above 2,000, guys. So some good news out there. Guys, uh, be part of the conversation. Be part of the freaking conversation, guys. Get it, get it, get it. And uh, check out our f uh, uh, free uh, Discord out there. So... Dogecoin price slightly tumbles. Will it resume the uptrend uh, or fall further? I don't think it's going to fall further. As I told you, Dogecoin is sitting pretty on around $0.09, cents, and this is good. It's outperforming most of the cryptocurrencies out there. And uh, this is, uh, and, you know, this rebound for Dogecoin is not based on uh, Elon Musk tweet or this tweet. It's based on the community and its organic growth. So that is pretty good, guys. So I don't think it's going to be falling further. I think things are looking lovely and jubbly out there, guys. So I'm very positive about the Dogecoin, guys. So, guys, uh, Dogecoin prediction buyers in control may drive the Dogecoin price for a 50% rally. And I think we're going to see a 50% rally. I think that we're going to see a 50% rally. And one of the reasons I'm saying is we can see, we can now see a nice double bottom forming right here, guys. So you can see here, we have a nice double bottom forming uh, here and here. So, you know, this retest down calls a double a bottom, but we're still respecting this uh, super trend line and we can still see that Dogecoin is above 9 cents. So if we take a look at this and also we have this huge, huge W pattern that has formed as well uh, on the on the daily. So that is pretty good out there and uh, Dogecoin is respecting our 50, our 20 and our 100 EMA. So looking pretty good. If we look at if we take a look at the RSI pattern as well for Dogecoin, we are flipping green, guys. So I'm pretty, pretty confident that Dogecoin is going to rebound. And I am still sticking, sticking to my prediction of 10 cents coming in, guys. So boom, chakalaka time. Looks like also if this from Kelly O as well. And he's saying, look, uh, Dogecoin is initiating a 420 squeeze while the rest of the market is bleeding. Uh, Dogecoin is still resilient and going up, guys. So uh, I still have a lot of conviction out there that Dogecoin is going to be doing well and it's going to be fine and dandy right now. So right now, for the price of Dogecoin, you can see Dogecoin has done a fantastic job of coming back. Uh, yesterday, we had a 6.39% dump. Uh, now we've got so far a 3.64% pump. We're well above our $0.09 cent level. So we're really not doing too bad, guys. We're back to we we're back to uh, two days ago. So not too shabby, three days ago. So not too shabby out there. 
we are still at the we are still just about the lows. We're still at the lows of uh, 0913. So we're back at the lows where we were two days ago, despite a big flash crash. So you guys should be tapping yourselves on on the shoulder. Dogecoin, good news. Good news is happening out there. So uh, let's give this a minute to refresh, guys, and let's get it, get it, get it. You see the tokenomics right now. We're seeing this fantastic. We're at 09109, fantastic. We're seeing the volumes are going crazy, 1.4 billion. And uh, the market cap, we take a look at the market cap, and we can see that Dogecoin is still, still, still uh, number eight spot. So that's good news, absolutely good news out there. So I'm not too worried about Dogecoin right now out there. And also, too, we've got, uh, it looks like the SpaceX, we could be seeing uh, the targeting the 420 test flight of Starship confirmation from SpaceX Media. So we're waiting for the confirmation. I think we're going to get an announcement from our friend Elon Musk confirming that uh, the Doge, uh, SpaceX, the Starship Heavy is going to be going off. So Elon Musk, Dogecoin, what that WTF, Dogecoin dumps, leverage traders get wrecked. But Doge, but Elon Musk is like, yeah, yeah, leverage traders got wrecked. But Dogecoin is still strong. Dogecoin is still beautiful. New Twitter logo. Let's get it, guys. Matter of time. T -t 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 time tap. We're seeing that even though that Dogecoin is down right now, Dogecoin 111, we are still seeing, we are still seeing right now that Dogecoin, 66% of the Dogecoin holders are in the money, guys. So just take that, take that as a takeaway. Things are looking pretty good, guys. We're about where we were two days ago. And if we, uh, let's talk about Bitcoin right now. So from bottom to top, Bitcoin has gone up almost exactly 100%. And it took 144 days uh, to go up 100%. And that's an average of $108 gain during that time period. So we've had a little retest. Who cares? It's nothing out there. Do not panic. Good news is coming, guys. So also, too, could reach, Bitcoin could reach 61,000 or more. And if you take a look at Bitcoin history, whenever the Scholastic, uh, now this is recent, right? Whenever the Scholastic RSI is above the 20-day, uh, which is the green, uh, and went straight to the 80, recently it got back uh, to the 20 and yet completed a 100% move to the 80. It's currently only 50%, which leaves room to go up. So, guys, Bitcoin is definitely going to be pumping, de definitely going to be going up, guys. And did you know Bitcoin is the first monetary asset to experience hyper disinflation? So we can see here that the inflation rate, Bitcoin monetary inflation rate is going down, down. So that is pretty good. And it's, uh, you know, I've never heard of hyper disinflation, but we're seeing it right now out there, guys. Uh, so it looks like uh, Tesla's flipped, flipped Bitcoin out there. Uh, the rainbow chart is still saying it's a great time to be buying Bitcoin, guys. Don't sleep on Bitcoin. I'm going to be buying more Bitcoin today. I'm going to be dollar cost solving. And look at this. This is from set. Bitcoin weekly chart with the MA and TSI. When the TSI crosses below the zero line here, uh, we are searching for bottom. When TSI crosses up again, which usually means bottom was found and the asset class is trending up. So we have found bottom and we're going to see Bitcoin trending up, guys. So that is pretty cool out there, guys. Let's take a quick look at the Shibi. Weeby, why be so shibi weeby? It dumb. It dumb. It's still in the red. But Dogecoin has pumped, guys. Dogecoin has pumped. And that just proves to me that Dogecoin is much more resilient than the Shiba Inu, Shiba Inu right now. Uh, a lot of the community is getting a little bit of sad, getting a little bit bored with Shiba Inu out there. But Dogecoin community is strong, guys. So that is great, guys. I mean, I'm Dogecoin. 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 All I got to say is Dogecoin, Dogecoin, Dogecoin. I love it, guys. So, guys, it's going to bring this video to a close, guys. Let's take one more look at the glorious Dogecoin chart. Dogecoin looking fantastic, guys. Go back and check out all the linky wikis down below, guys. Buy the channel coffee. Become a Patreon member. These are some exchange I like. If you, click, you, you get uh, you get some bonuses out there. And, guys, don't forget to uh, get the merch, guys, gear with OG merch. I appreciate it. Guys, so much love to all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.